Hudson and I'm a Homeworks Consultant. Today we're going to take a look inside of the Parent-Led Textbook Kit for the Fundamentals of Math 3rd Edition. So we're going to take a look inside of the Teacher Edition, the Student Textbook, the Activities Book, and the Answer Key for the Activities Book. And we're going to talk about the Assessment Packet and the Answer Key for those assessments. So join me as we take a look inside of these books. This is the Fundamentals of Math Teacher Edition. This is part one. There are two parts to this teacher edition. Let's jump ahead now to the table of contents. Some of the things we're gonna be talking about this year include integers, algebraic expressions, fractions, equations and inequalities, ratios, proportions. I also see that these chapters are grayed out in this page. That means that those chapters are in part two of the teacher edition. And in part two, you're going to be talking about percents, measurement, area, volume, statistics, probability. Now, the beginning of this book includes quite a bit of information that would be good for you to read through before you begin teaching this course. It will explain where things can be found, how things line up, the goals for this course. I also have some information here about the Homeschool Hub. The Homeschool Hub is where you can go for your grade book. This is also where you can find any extra resources that you have for this course. They will be located in that Course Resources tab. There will be instructional aids and all sorts of other things for you to flip through. We also have a note here about afterschoolhelp.com. This is a web page that you can go to for extra practice if needed while you are learning the new information. I'm going to flip now to chapter three. At the beginning of each chapter, there is a lesson plan overview. Now this book is going to be set up differently than any of the elementary books for math from BJU Press Homeschool. We are now jumping into upper math, so it's going to be laid out a little bit different. The first thing I want to point out is this first blue column. This is the day number, not the lesson number, but the day number. Sometimes a lesson in this book is going to be assigned for more than one day. So for instance, in this first lesson, 3.1, this is days 25 and 26. That means this lesson should take us two days to complete. I then have my page numbers where I can find the assignments for the students and the instruction for the students. And I also have my teacher resources that I would need for the lesson and my skills and different topics that we're going to be talking about in that lesson. I'm going to flip ahead now to the first page of the chapter. This is going to be the overview that the student would see in their book. This is also the student page. So the student pages are embedded into your teacher edition book. The information outside of the margin is information for you to use as we're presenting the lessons. So I noticed here that section 3.1 starts right here and we start out with our objectives. I also have a list of any resources I might need to gather ahead of time. Instructional aids can be found in the back of the TE. They can also be found on the Homeschool Hub. And some of these also include notes about afterschoolhelp.com and it will give you which topics you would want to look at on that afterschoolhelp.com if you needed the extra practice. I also see some vocabulary words for me to introduce in this lesson. I'm going to flip ahead now to the next page and you might notice that none of this information has the blue and the red fonts like you are used to seeing in elementary math. So as I mentioned a second ago, this is laid out a lot different. I do see this number one, this red circled number one. This is going to be the information I'm going to present when I see that number one in the embedded student pages. So this is what the student can see, and this is the information I'm going to present using that number one. I then see down here, I have a number two, so this is the information I'm gonna to use to explain part two. Here's three and four. I'm gonna explain three and four using this information. So I'm actually going to be teaching the lesson using the information that's provided in the student edition textbook. Usually in the examples, there will be these little skill checks that your child can do as you're working through the lesson. That way you can check real quick to make sure they're understanding what you're talking about 
and you have those quick problems to be able to uh, verify that they do understand or you need to explain it again before moving on to the next example. I would continue to go through my examples in the book using the information they gave me on the margins outside of the page. And I would continue doing that until I see this apply section. When I get to the apply, this is the part where I am assigning the work for the day. And it says on day one, this is the assignment for all levels. I would be assigning problems one through eight, 19 through 25, 41 through 49 odd. On day two though, I have three different options of what I could assign my student. I could assign my minimum assignment, my standard assignment, or an extended assignment based on what my child needed for the day. Do you want to point out that you have the answers for those problems in your teacher edition book? Sometimes there will be an extended solution to the side to help show some of the work of what these problems are asking you to do. And then this would finish up the lesson. And I do see at the bottom of this lesson that there's a cumulative review to review things from previous sections in this book so far. This book also incorporates some of these math then and now pages. And the math then and now present a historical example of how math has been used to make improvements in everyday life. So these are mixed in in every chapter. I'm gonna flip ahead now in this chapter, we also have a STEM project. There are four STEM projects within this book, and these STEM projects are used to apply math to real life or real world situations. The instructions for these are not on this page. You're actually going to go to the back of the teacher edition for some notes for you of what might need to be prepared ahead of time. There's some planning information. But the questions and the instructions will be given in the activity manual and the student's activity manual. So they'll be able to follow along. So I'm gonna pull over real quick. This is what the student activity manual would look like. And this is the instructions for what they are doing. And then the work that they're working out to go with it. So those are in the activity manual for the student book. Jumping ahead a little bit more. Each chapter does end with a chapter review. And you see again that the worked out solutions are on the side margins. And the just the answer is listed right there for you on the embedded student pages. Okay, let's jump to the back of the book now. There are some selected skill check answers in the back. So if it's not listed on your uh, page where you're actually teaching from. Those are in the back of the book. They start on page 577. There's also an index. So if you need to find a certain topic and you don't remember where it is in the book, that is also listed for you. And I love this page. This is a quick reference. If I don't remember what a property is or a theorem or something that I'm probably going to need at some point during this course, this is a great quick reference or a little cheat sheet to help remember what certain things are if you don't want to have to flip through the whole book to find it. That is at the back of this teacher edition book. So love this sheet. And then I'm going to jump ahead again to the instructional aids. These are all instructional aids, but I jumped to this one because this is the instructional aid for 3.1, which was the lesson that we looked at for the lesson example in chapter three. So this would be the instructional aids. And if I didn't want to make a copy of this from the uh, teacher edition book, I can actually find these on the Homeschool Hub in the course resources and then in the folder that's marked instructional aid and I can print from there as well. And that's what most of the rest of this book is, is just the instructional aids. And then that's where the STEM projects uh, preparation guides are at the very back as well. So this is the teacher edition book for the fundamentals of math. And this is part one. Part two is going to look very similar to this. This is the fundamentals of math student book. So this is a textbook. This is not a book they would be writing in. 
So you would want to have separate sheets of paper for your student to be able to work out their assignment for the day. This book does start with a table of contents. And I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead to chapter three since that's what we were looking at in the teacher edition book. So this book does start out with the same examples that we were looking at in the teacher edition book. Remember this is where they're going to be following along as you were explaining what to do. You see the skill check. So this was skill check A, skill check B for some quick practice before letting your child do their assignment on their own. And here's another one, skill check C. And then you've got all the practice problems for the day. Remember this lesson was split across two days, so you would actually be assigning two different sets of homework off that sheet for two different days. I'll just keep flipping through to see some more examples of what this chapter would look like. Each lesson has several pages of examples. And the cool thing about having the examples in the book like this is that now if they don't remember when they're doing their assignment how to do something, they can be proactive and go back and look at the examples listed at the beginning of the section to figure out how to work out problems. I'm going to jump ahead now to the chapter review. So that would be this. This is the chapter review for the entire chapter. And then I'm going to flip to the back to show you some things back there. First of all, selected skill check answers. So this is not answers to every question in this whole book. This is the answers to those skill checks. So for instance, in section 3.1 that we were looking at, there were three different skill checks, A, B, and C. Those answers are there so they can make sure they're doing those questions correctly before doing their assignment for the day. And then I'm going to flip ahead a little bit more. The students do have a glossary in the back of their book to look up any definitions that they don't remember off the top of their head. They also have the index that will allow them to flip to a specific page if they need to look up a topic again. And that quick reference chart is also in the back of the student book. So if they don't remember the properties or theorems, they do have that page in the back of their student textbook. And also on the last page, there is a list of symbols that you will see throughout MAP. So if they don't remember what the symbol means, this is a quick reference guide for that as well. So that is the student edition for Fundamentals of Math. This is the Fundamentals of Math activity book. So this is extra practice that is broken down by chapter. So if a student needed more practice, this would be a great place to give it. This is also the book where those STEM projects are listed with the instructions for the students to be able to follow. And then also to be able to record any observations or answer any questions. So this is the activities. And this is the activities answer key. So this is where you would go to find the answers to the activity book. This is the assessment packet and the assessment packet answer key. In this packet, you'll be able to find the student pages for the quizzes and the tests. And this is where you will find the answer keys for those quizzes and tests. Thanks for joining me as we took a look inside of the third edition Fundamentals of Math Parent-Led Textbook Kit. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your local Homeworks by Precept consultant. We would all love to answer your questions.